Hey guys, it's Bonnie here, coming to you from my Harry Potter studios under the stairs. <laughs> and here's what's coming up today in my version of the collaboration video. Yay, I'm so excited to get this out. Um, so I mostly worked on the kitchen and the dining room. So that's what you're gonna be seeing coming up in this video today. Um, there's gonna be a lot of organization of cabinets and I cleaned the oven and the freezer. And then there was a lot of decluttering that I did in the dining room. And Emily helped me a lot in both of these rooms. So that's a little bit of what you can expect coming up in my video today. But first, we got to start at the beginning. So day one for me began at the Salt Lake Airport. I had my husband drop me off the Friday night before I flew out just to sleep there because I thought I would sleep better at the airport than I would trying to wake up in the middle of the night to catch my flight. Then I took my early morning flight to Indianapolis to meet up with Barbie. Got my microscope out as soon as I got to the airport to find cute little tiny Barbie and found her. We got our crappy rental car, <laughs> told Mac and Emily we're on our way. We found this huge man in Illinois and decided to stop and take a picture with him. And then we were like, oh wait, you're Mac. Anyway, we found Mac and then Emily took us to Walmart to get a few things in Mac's sweet new ride. When we got back to the hotel, Mac doled out a lot of YouTube wisdom on us and then gave us these awesome new phones. Thank you so much, Mac, we love them. So then we got a good night's rest so that we could start on the house the next day. So here's some of the pictures that I don't think were included in the other videos of some of the other rooms in this house. It was such a cool house. And this was my favorite room, which was kind of an attic bedroom. I've always wanted an attic bedroom, so I really loved loved this room and look at these tiny little doors they were so adorable there were so many cool stairways in this house i kind of got lost the first few times i looked around but so this one happens to end in the kitchen i never really knew where i was going to end up then just a couple other pictures of like some of the shelves and some of the older um, furniture that was really cool and this brick in the garage i just had to show you it was really awesome but as soon as we arrived to the house it was like oh mac is it you is it really you are you really gonna run for president and spin kick this country back into shape so stuff like that so barbie and i had to entertain ourselves oh you're fine i'm just you're getting you in here as we're yes barbie i am barbie to... from hungary i'm sorry for you so uh, hello everyone <laughs> <laughs> you're so so cute. And let's look at those adorable feet. Let's see, how do I do this? Can I get down there? Oh, they're so cute. I'm stomping with my feet. <laughs> Hold on, stand, stand next to me so I can show them how, just how tiny you are. But you are tiny too. I know, but you're just so like, oh, I love it. You're just so petite. I always felt I'm short. Okay, I'm okay, I'm I love I'm never going to be grew up. Yes. Never ever. Seriously, though, we were waiting on Mac to be interviewed before we could start. So we we found this pile of books and thought, hey, let's have some fun with this pile of books. <laughs> so Barbie did a little uh, book angel in the books. And then we found this spider, this huge spider in the shed to play with. Just kidding. He was dead, but he was huge. And then played with Mimi. This is Lorenzo's cat that I promised I would put in here. She was so cute. And then what felt like five hours later, we got word that Mac was finally done being interviewed. So we got all ready to get this kitchen cleaned up. And you know we're ready to go when Barbie gets on her pink gloves. So here we go. Barbie's going to get started in the fridge. I got started with the dishes and Mac started clearing the counter. And I left a little bit of the um, audio in here so you can enjoy some of our conversation and a little bit closer up. Maybe this is a magic mushroom. I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> it's a magic mushroom. Ooh, let's try it. Do you want to have some fun? <laughs> I 
you can move it. Intimacy ignition tea. <laughs> Do I want to know? No, no, I don't want to know. <laughs> there were actually so many different kinds of herbal medicines and uh, vitamins and healthy food. Uh, just an incredible amount here that I was not familiar with at all. So it was really interesting to sort through all of this. And Emily helped me. We kind of uh, gathered everything and tried to combine it all into one area. There's like a, a cupboard off to the side of the kitchen that we tried to put all of these um, medicinal items in. Sorry about the lack of original audio here, but I was having a conversation with Emily um, about stuff that I didn't necessarily want the whole world to hear. So <laughs> I just took out the original audio. But um, yeah, that's that's part of the problem with working with somebody else as much as it makes it a little more enjoyable. There are some things that you get into conversations about that you don't really want the rest of the world to hear. So that's okay. There's plenty of audio later on. So while I was sorting out this stuff, um, Barbie was busy washing the fridge shelves in the bathtub. And when she got finished with that and brought them back down, I um, stopped to help her 
uh, wipe those out, dry them off, get them back in the fridge so that we could get this uh, counter cleared off of the food. So this is where that incident happens that Mac, <clears throat> excuse me, had on his collaboration video where we cannot figure out how to put these dang shelves and drawers back in. And it's embarrassing because I actually have the same fridge, or I did have the same fridge. Um, so I don't know why we could not figure this out, but it was kind of entertaining. And you have to see this different point of view on it because it's funny to just watch Mac um, just sit back and watch us struggle and get his camera out and just record us. <laughs> and finally, at one point coming up here, he does step in to try to figure it out himself. And uh, he couldn't get it either. So what really, the, the way that we ended up getting this back together was I had to look up um, a visual of the inside of the fridge. Like we did take footage of the inside of the fridge before we took it apart, but it was kind of hard to tell on that one. So I looked up a picture um, without any food in it and we pieced this thing together. So took forever, but here we go. We're getting it all back together. We're gonna finally get this food back in the fridge. Then since I called dibs on the stainless steel, I stepped in to wash the front of this fridge. And um, did I get an after picture of it? No, I didn't. I surely took a before picture. And just like Barbie didn't get an after picture of the clean fridge, I did not get an after picture of the clean front of the fridge. And I think that's because Lorenzo was filming it. And so we kind of forgot to do that part, <laughs> but that's okay. You'll just, you'll have to see it at the very end when I show the whole before and after. Do you have razor scissors, sir? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Is he over here too? Bonnie, have you checked that breaking base on these with teeth? Uh, no, it's not. I'm just trying to get it out of the way. Yeah, it's like a little bit. Oh. And then, if there's any Mr. Clean over there. I've also got big jugs for refills on um, Mr. Clean. Sweet. I said big jugs. Big <laughs> jugs. <laughs> So Barbie was busy cleaning the countertop and the stovetop while I worked on the oven or the outside of the oven. You'll actually see me just spray oven cleaner on here right before we leave for the day so that it can sit overnight. And that's where I 
actually start the next day is cleaning that oven. So this is getting close to the end of our day. We're wrapping things up, um, just trying to get it in a little bit more order before we leave. Um, and if it seems like we didn't get a lot done today, that's because we didn't, <laughs> because we got that late start um, because of all the interviews that Mac did. And I'm teasing him about that. I think it's actually very great that they wanted to interview him. And, um, and I was really glad that they didn't interview me. I don't know how Barbie feels about that, but um, I don't interview well. So <laughs> I was actually okay with that. Mac is the knowledgeable one and knows how to articulate things. So I was happy to let him take care of that. And here's the inside of that dirty oven that I'm just going to get some oven cleaner on to let sit overnight and resume cleaning in the morning. So that ends day two. Here's day three, or day two of cleaning. But picking up on that oven cleaning came right off. So as far as um, covering this with saran wrap, I know a lot of you think that that's like totally necessary now since Ari Katarina started doing that. And I do do that sometimes, but it is not totally necessary. And you can see here, <laughs> I'm proving that because this came right off. Um, I think if it's in an enclosed space, it doesn't really dry out. So um, this worked great. You just get it a little bit wet, maybe even just spray one more little uh, layer of oven cleaner on it and it will wipe right off. So um, if it's on top of the stove top, I would probably put some saran wrap on it, but as you can see, wasn't necessary here. Do you see the little handprint I left there on the oven door? It reminds me of Wilson from Castaway. I just barely saw that as I was doing this voiceover and had to share because it's too funny. I love Wilson. He was so cute. Did anybody else cry a little bit when Wilson got lost at sea? I'm not saying I did, but I'm also not saying I didn't. I always forget to film me uh, washing the oven racks, but I promise I do. <laughs> um, it's not that interesting, honestly. I just scrub it with either like a scour daddy or um, even like a grill brush to get those little bits off. And I don't always do the best, most bang up job on it, but as long as that door and the inside are clean, I'm happy. So here's that before and after on that. Now for some cabinet cleaning and organization. And I honestly don't even know what this stuff was in here. All these crumbs or dust or, I, I don't know, maybe flour or some kind of grain. Either way, we just got rid of it. And then I cleaned it out with some clean freak here. I kept finding pots and pans and lids and all kinds of things in several different cupboards. So um, I tried to combine them all as best I could into this cupboard, but in the end, there was still one cupboard I never got to and it had kind of 
a random assortment of things, but you just do the best you can in the time you have, so. This cupboard was by far the most fun for me to uh, clean out and organize because I love matching up lids with the Tupperware or even the glass bowls had lids um, and getting rid of anything that does not have a lid or does not have a or has a lid and not a bottom so that we can reduce the amount and make it more usable. So there you go. There's everything pulled out. Um, and I recruited Emily to help me with this to match up everything. And, um, and a lot of this needed to be washed. It had kind of a film of like grease on it. So um, I, I used the dishwasher <laughs> for a lot of it, but I had to hand wash several other things just uh, otherwise they're, they would have never been able to get cleaned in time. So Some of the sounds coming up of washing the dishes are they're some of my favorite sounds so i will not talk over those and just let you enjoy I do have to say I am not a fan of farmer sinks where it's just the one big basin and you don't have the two different sides because you can't fill up one side with rinse water to just rinse the dishes off. So I had to just let the water run over it to rinse off any of the dishes. So don't give me any crap for leaving the water going because I had to to rinse it off. So I'm done with this for now, but I will be adding more to this cupboard later once the other dishes are clean. So now I'm going to move on to the freezer. And this freezer also had problems with the shelves and the drawers. I don't know what was going on with it, but they would not stay in place. You can see that one has already collapsed and that's not just because of the weight of the food on there it really just wouldn't stay in place so I can't remember if I included my confusion about that in this video but it just I, I, I don't I don't know I don't know what the deal was oh yeah right here <laughs> this is where I'm like why won't this stay <laughs> oh well we made it work Yes, no. Oh, it's in the drawer. Oh, it's in the freezer. And then the shelf that goes there, it doesn't seem to like. Oh, I'm going to pass it. It goes like this. I'm going to see what's going on. Hang on. I'll figure that out. Oh, this is
I think I can do So I think um, so that's going to be the last thing um, I, okay. We're wrong, so you're done. And then if I'm saying she's got her bar, then you're done. You will just be back. Right? I can own some bigger stuff. So you may have heard me talk before about what a fan I am of vertical organizing, especially when it comes to papers, but this is how I try to organize everything is vertically because it makes more sense to be able to like rifle through and see what you have than to stack it and have to remove an entire stack of things to get to what's underneath. So that's the way I try to organize everything. Um, and that's thanks to Marie Kondo. I learned that from her book. I'm a big fan. So anyway, you guys should try it. If you, if it's, um, if you have trouble with the stacked items, try vertical. I think it, it is a life changer. So these are the rest of the items from that Tupperware cupboard that I was just waiting for the dishwasher to finish washing. So just drying these off because I didn't let it dry all the way and wanted to get it put away. So you'll see how I organize the lids here um, is also vertically. So it's it, usually what I do is just take a, one of the bigger Tupperware containers and put them in there vertically, kind of by size as much as I can. So Lorenzo and I were talking a lot while I'm doing this. Um, he was just asking how I got into doing this free cleaning. And if any of you have not watched my welcome video, um, I kind of hope that you don't because it's so awkward. It was really, oh, I was such a noob on camera. And anyway, I'll just tell you here <laughs> that um, I lost my medical transcription business at the beginning of this year that I ran for, well, I typed for like 20 years and had it as a business for about 17 with um, like seven employees is what I had when I lost um, almost all of it except for one doctor. So Initially, I was very, very bitter about all of that and how it went down. And I still don't think it was cool how it all went down. But um, the, this is when I'm like, I'm kind of thankful for these kinds of trials because they make you, you know, take a look at your life and figure out, OK, what am I going to do next? And it forces you to do something different. And if I had not lost that business, I would not be doing this today, which has been just amazing. And I can't even imagine doing anything else. So I am thankful for, you know, these, these trials that we have and that makes you pivot and do maybe some better, more challenging things. So anyway, that's my like two cents on how to deal with trials. <laughs> And here we go, that cupboard all full with the lids and everything. So beautiful. So this was the end of day two of cleaning um, and Mac was getting interviewed again. <laughs> it was really at the start of every day, at the end of every day. Um, and so 
I am restless. I cannot just sit around and wait. Um, so I decided to keep going. <laughs> I wasn't planning on doing these drawers tonight, but I was like, I may as well make use of my time as I'm just sitting here waiting because I never know how long it's going to be. So um, just started cleaning out these drawers and uh, I'll just go as long as I can until he's done and we're ready to go. And I ended up getting quite a lot done so that otherwise would not have been done. And we only had so much time here. So I was glad I did. So at this point in the video, I'm going to remind you guys to go subscribe if you haven't, um, like this video and comment. And I also wanted to make a note about the comments. Um, I really, really appreciate comments because they do help the algorithm a lot. Um, however, just know that because I am getting so many, it can be a little overwhelming, especially the first day I put out a video. So if I take a little while to respond or if I simply heart your message, just know that I have read it and I read every single comment. I try to respond to them all, but it's just simply too difficult to respond the way that I want to to every single one. So anyway, just know that you're appreciated, even if I just do a heart to your comment and you are heard. So I appreciate it. Keep it up. Thanks, guys. So it had probably been about 25 or 30 minutes by this point and he still wasn't done. So I'm like, well, I may as well keep going. So I just started on the cupboard below there. So something I keep forgetting to mention on my previous videos, but maybe that's okay because I think it's, um, this is a great time to bring this up, but um, I am beyond grateful that I was able to do this collaboration with Mac and Barbie um, being such a, a new channel myself and um, that I was able to, you know, meet them and learn and 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 grow my channel so much because of it. Um, but I have made a friend with another free cleaner who is in the Netherlands. Her name is Colleen and her channel is Colleen Cleans. There it is on the screen. Um, if you guys would, wouldn't would mind going and checking out her channel, that would be just, it, just, it would just mean so much to me because um, I would love to be able to pay it forward and help out um, another free cleaning channel. Um, and she's fairly new as well and, um, you know, is, is doing a great job. She has one of the most calming presences and the sweetest personality. And I love to hear her speak with her, her accent. She's the cutest. So anyway, go check out her channel, give her some support. She could use your love. And um, I would love to go over there someday and collaborate with her. That would just be amazing. So anyway, you guys do that for me, okay? Cause I know you guys are that supportive. Thank you. Say hi to Mimi. And here's how I ended my second day of cleaning with a mask that Emily gave me. So sweet. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start day four, day three of cleaning, picking up right where I left off with that cupboard. So there were actually a couple other cupboards I cleaned out besides the ones that I've shown, but for the sake of time, I decided to just end with this one because we've got to get to that dining room. 
this is already the length of a video that I would normally do, so really got to get to that dining room. Okay, finally, here it is, the dining room. And I definitely had my work cut out for me here, but fortunately I had the help of Emily again. And don't let her fool you, she's actually an excellent cleaner. She was so helpful in all of these rooms that I did. So this video was actually shot with the new phone that Matt gave me and it was shot in 8K for about three hours <laughs> and I completely forgot it was going. So to upload this later took so many tries and took forever. So I've got to remember to check it every once in a while and um, maybe cut it off at like an hour because that was way too much to try to upload at once. I seriously have no idea how Matt got his collaboration video up in like two days. And I hadn't even gotten home by the time he was already about to post his. So I've been working almost nonstop this past week, barely did any cleaning, have sat in front of my computer forever, hours on end, and doing this voiceover is taking so long that I just, I don't know how he does it. Like 35 minutes is max for me. So this is getting crazy. In fact, if this wasn't the collaboration video, I think I would have definitely cut this into two parts because this is so much for just one video. But I didn't want to do that to you guys because I know the other two just put it all together. So I didn't want you to wait another week, but I may need to take a break next week. I always say that, but I always end up doing a video. I just can't stand it. I have to put one out every weekend. But I suppose you guys could split this into two weeks and just stop where I started the dining room and then watch the other half next weekend. So a lot of the stuff in this dining room was, um, you can see all those LED lights and things there. There was a lot of stuff for the rental properties that um, these homeowners own. I think they had at least like 10 rental properties. So they need a lot of stuff for that. Um, and that's kind of why Mac was clearing out the basement was so that we could put some of this down there. So it wasn't in a the dining room it makes more sense to have it downstairs but there just wasn't enough room down there and anyway that's why that the basement became kind of a priority but also the other thing was um food there was a lot of food inside of these totes and it, most of it was expired so that made it easy because i just threw it away but um a lot of it was not, and so we had to make room in the pantry. But anyway, those were the, the kinds of things I was finding in here, but among, you know, other stuff like paper and um, pictures and um, collectibles, but a ton of, like, stuff that had not even been opened. Uh, you can see all these Ross bags and stuff that had never even been taken out of the grocery bag. So, um, yeah kind of funny. Oh, yes, and that there were also a lot of electronics. 
Although this is not the most electronics I've seen in a house. I'm cleaning a house right now um, where they had, um, I think it was 18 different um, iPads, laptops, and you know, all these old, old ones that like, what do you do with them? I don't even know. I mean, I have a few kicking around, but um, what do you do with old phones and old laptops? I know that there are some places that take them to uh, places in Africa and third world countries where they can use them. But um, if they're older than they are useful, what do you do with them? If anybody knows, let me know because I would love to know what to do with all my old electronics besides just throwing them away, which, you know, I guess you can do, but do they recycle them? I don't know. Oh yeah, you guys are going to notice me um, scratching a lot. I don't know what was going on, but I got so itchy here at the end of this day. Um, I mean, I, I was kind of itchy throughout the whole time we were cleaning there, but especially while I was cleaning the dining room. I don't know if it was dust or what, but I could not stop scratching myself. And when I got home that night, I basically undressed and just scratched myself for like a half an hour. I don't know if that's TMI, but <laughs> I did. I was so itchy. I don't know why, but I'm okay now. It was just weird. Maybe I, I'm guessing just dust or something. I don't have fleas, I promise. So with a lot of these totes, I had to unpack them, take everything out of the um, the grocery bags, the Ross bags and things, and then repack it with like items. So a lot of this was tools, but not everything. So took out the stuff that didn't belong and put back the tools and other handy type items to keep those all together. My editing software just stopped working again for about the gazillionth time and I am over it. I am almost done and I just got a um, message asking when I was going to have my um, collaboration video out. I'm like, I'm trying. I have literally not moved from my chair since like 6 a.m. this morning except to go out and watch the eclipse for about a half an hour. And that was cool. Did you guys see the eclipse? Anyway, um, yes, we're getting to the end here. So hopefully no more issues and we can get this finished up and uploaded for you guys.
I promise we're almost there. <laughs> Look, you can see almost all the floor here. Emily still has to um, dust while I get some stuff done in the kitchen because we still need to take some pictures out there. I never got my after pictures, so while I'm finishing tidying in there, she's going to dust some of the stuff in here. And then I've just got to vacuum and do the dining room table. Do some um, gold, what is it? Uh, liquid gold on it. <laughs> So, um, yeah, we'll let you enjoy Emily doing a little bit of Emily stuff. absolute favorite part of this entire video is coming up right after she finishes dusting here because I did something a little different with my editing and you're going to see these shelves be redecorated by themselves. See, wasn't that fun? This part was fun too, except for where the table runner was sitting. For some reason, it would not um, dust that off. I don't know why it wouldn't come up, but it was kind of annoying. Okay, and then this next part is the vacuuming, which sadly, we had some issues here. Mac tried to help me fix it, but it was still leaving like lint or it just wasn't picking up very well. Even Lorenzo comments on it here in just a second saying that it's leaving some stuff behind. It's leaving really weird dark streaks now. So I tried to take it apart and see if I could fix it, but no such luck. So we decided to just call it a day. Yeah, that's, we'll call that a day. Yeah. <laughs> okay, finally, here are the before and afters of the dining room first, and then we'll do the kitchen. I think this is my favorite angle on that room. It looks so pretty. Okay, now the kitchen. And you'll see Barbie here. <laughs> Hi, Barbie. Doesn't that look great? Just a couple other after pictures for you guys. And there you go. You made it. Thank you guys so much for watching and for waiting an extra week for my collaboration video. So as usual, subscribe, like, hit that bell if you want to be notified of my future videos. You can leave a super thanks for Mimi. Do it for Mimi. She, she would love that. <laughs> Just kidding. Thanks, guys. You guys have a great week.